All right, what is up? Welcome back to another video. This is a little inspection video. If you recently got an AE1, you found one in the attic. This one's from Goodwill, it's a $9.99. Highly doubt that is the case, but however, if that is, that is your current situation, this is kind of how you test it. So first what we're gonna do is pop this open and see if there's a battery in there. I always like to take the battery out, kind of check the contacts. These ones are clean. Put that back in. I'm going to turn it on. You do so by kind of just sliding that little tab up. Easy peasy. Look through the, get the body cap off. Look through the viewfinder. Use this little button here. It's the battery test button. If you look through the viewfinder, the needle should be below the 5.6. If it's at the 5.6, that means the battery's just about dead, but you kind of want it down more towards the 2.8. And that's where this one is sitting, right in between 2.8 and 4, meaning it has full voltage. So from here, try to fire. Not working. All right, so we're going to advance. And this is immediately a problem. This is kind of common in the AE1s. It's a problem we'll get into in a moment. But for all intents and purposes, let's just pretend. Different shutter speeds to make sure it's working. Uh, I always like to test it at bulb as well. That's very important on this one in particular. Advance is clearly kind of goofed up on this one. So I kind of might potentially know what the issue is, but let's take the top off and investigate further just to kind of confirm what I believe is the case. This is not a typical inspection video because unfortunately this camera is not working. But what we you would do is go through the different shutter speeds, make sure that they're all firing and you can usually do it based off of sound. Like if you're listening and you're thinking, okay, that sounds like it's about right, um, then other speeds might sound a little bit different. Uh, the lower speeds, obviously the shutter's gonna be open for longer and it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to hear like the exact timing, but so long as it doesn't sound like it's the same firing rate, then you should be fine. Um, however, this one will not fire because of a reason that we will show very soon. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, we will do that. And then I'm going to have to message the customer because this is kind of uh, not a fun issue to have to deal with. Uh, still working on a workaround for it. Right. It doesn't take a long time to get the top of an AE one off, but it still can kind of be a process. In bulb 3200, that's kind of what you want it to be at when you take this off, otherwise it's gonna mess up the whole thing. Um, and then don't get mad at me if you do this and your camera breaks, I'm sorry, but I'm not telling you that this is something that you should do. Just this is what I'm doing. I'm just having a lot of people that are like, you broke my camera. And I'm like, I didn't even touch your camera. Silly, silly, silly. All right, then we're gonna yoink the top off. And quickly going to, oh, Okay, so a couple things we'll get to in a moment. That is important, not necessarily, but uh, for the sake of the discussion it is. Okay, so two things with AE1s that are fairly common in the top portion here. One is this dust cover here. This kind of protects gunk and dust and wind and debris, whatever, getting into the camera via the shutter speed and ASA wheel. And you'll notice that this has quite a bit of give. And that's because there's one of these deals, this little plastic grommet there, and it's supposed to be on the bottom, but it kind of fell off. Now it looks like there are two that fell off into the camera somewhere, and they look like that. And it's a problem because of where it sits on the advance column here, basically, <clears throat> stuff gets in there and it kind of causes it to not 
work as it should. I've seen it happen before, it just kind of stalls out. The other thing, the thing that's wrong with this camera from the get is the advanced clutch system. And all I have to do is look down in there and you might not be able to see it, but I can see that the component is black. Now, there's two kinds. There's black and then there is silver. Black means it's plastic, silver means it's metal. If it's plastic and if it's doing that, then it means it's broken. And if it's broken, it needs to have a new one put in there, otherwise it's going to do that and not be able to fire. This is one of those situations where it's like, oh sweet, I'm right. But then it's also like, ah, shit, I'm right. And I also have a giant spider living with me now, apparently. And he's not paying any rent, and I'm kind of pissed about that. Um, sorry, distracted there. Point being is, God, I really wish I would have gotten a video of that spider, though, because I feel like I'm kind of like, you know, making it out to be way worse than it was. But like, it was, okay, so let me just, just show you. This is the bottle that it was sitting on, and it was taking up the whole thing. So it's like it's a pretty decent sized spider and I've seen like little spiders here, you know, little things. But this thing was like, it was like perched on here, you know, like a, like a osprey on a tree, you know, looking for fish, except it was just like, just chilling there like it owned the place. So anyway, all that to be said, that's kind of what's going on with this camera, with this AE-1 in particular. It's fairly common in these, unfortunately, as I said but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna put it back together really quickly and I will message the customer, let them know. Basically going forward, all we can really do is wait to hear back from them and gonna have to get another part camera or something of that sort to replace this piece with. And then hopefully eventually I will find a way to reproduce that piece in particular because that will save me a lot of cameras and heartache, and that's something that I would like to do. Alrighty, that is it, I think, for now, though. I was kind of hoping, again, this would be a fun uh, testing video, how to test an A1, and then it kind of devolved into this camera's very broken, and there's a giant spider living in my home. I'm trying to think what else there is. I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. So if you have any questions about the repair, about common things to look out for, comment down below, let me know. There is another thing that happens with these cameras too I would like to talk on briefly because it actually just happened to me and I was foolish enough to not record a video, but the camera was auto firing, which means you advance and the whole thing just fires. And what happens there, it's, it's one of two things that could be happening. Uh, most likely it is because the magnet needs to be cleaned. There's a release magnet on the bottom of the camera right here. And if this isn't sticking properly, it will fire. So this, uh, the advance throw here needs to connect there. And then when you fire the shutter, it demagnetizes this, which releases that, which fires the shutter. Um, if this isn't working properly, either needs a new magnet or the coils just need to be wiped down. Both are equally likely. But that's usually why it's auto firing. This was not auto firing. It was just doing like a infinite winding without really charging anything. And that's because it's stupid. But it is fixable. It just requires another part. I've made videos on it in the past. I will try to link those for you to watch. I don't know. I don't, I don't really think I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I don't know if it's like a very recent thing. I see it a lot more now, I feel like, than I did a few years ago. But I also think I just know a lot more now than I did a few years ago. So like issues like this kind of are more apparent to me and are much more like achievable in terms of actual repair services. So there's that. Um, but yeah, that, that's it. That's the AE1 inspection video slash I live with a giant spider. I hope you enjoyed the video. Already wrapping up. Oh, like the video and, and subscribe, all that stuff too. I need to start plugging that more. I feel like I'm not getting to that until like the end of all my videos. And... Just trying to get everything situated again. Okay, I'm gonna throw this back in the box and email the customer. 
So that is actually now officially all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, comment that thing down below. If you have any questions, comment those down below as well. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And I will catch you on the next one.